So another rule of circles. Let's talk about some angle rules. Um, you got a central angle and the arc angle. They are the same. So if we have this central angle, and let's say that it's uh, 70 degrees, the arc angle that it catches is also 70 degrees. Does not matter how far away that circle is. If I have another circle going around that's you know at the same center, and that 70 degree arc, that 70 degree angle is catching it, then that one is also 70 degrees. So let's apply that a little bit. So CF is a diameter. Let's see, that means CD is going to be 80 degrees because the central angle is 80, and EF is going to be 80 degrees. So arc CD, 80 degrees. Arc FD, F to D is going to be 80 plus a little bit more. Well, how much more? Well, CF is a diameter. That's 180 degrees from F to C. So if it's 180 and there's 80 of it, that means the rest is 100. Which also means that this little part in here is 20 degrees. Uh, CFD. Oh, now we've got to go all the way around from C to F to D. Well, the only part I haven't gone is that 80 degrees. So whatever 360 minus 80 is, which is it's 280 degree arc around from C to F to D. Uh, RS, well, that's this part here. Well, it's a 90 degree angle, so that arc is 90 degrees. And arc TU, so from T to U, well, again, it's being caught by a 90 degree angle, so it's a 90 degree arc. Yeah, this is, that's all this is, just straightforward like that. The arc is the angle. JG and IF are diameters. Diameters, again, are half a circle, so that's 180 between those two, so you know that. Um, measure of angle JKI. Measure of angle JKI. That's that. Well, what do we know? Well, we know that if this arc here is 50, then this little in angle in here is 50. And we know that this is 52 out here. Yeah, the inside and the outside are the same. And we know that all the way from F around to I is 180. And we've got 50 and 50, we have 102 of it. So that means this is 78. And we're trying to find just that part. Well, again, I know that that's a diameter, so that all the way around here is 180. Well, I've got 78 50, and 52 of it already. So 180 minus 78 minus 52. Right, those two together would make, uh, let's see, 2 and 8 is 10. That makes that 80, 130. So that's going to be 50. Yeah, these are the steps you got to go through. Pop between one angle to arc and diameters or 180. Uh, let's see, we got some other diameters. So IL, so. IL is a diameter and HK is a diameter. Okay. So there's some 180s. Um, we want to know IKH. The arc from I to K to H. Well, it's everything except that little slice of pi. So we got to find that little slice. All right. Well, if this angle is 70 and this arc is 70, that makes this angle 70. Yeah, it makes that 70 also. Um, that's a diameter. So I got 70, 70, and then something left. Okay. 70, 70 is 140. Um, so that makes that 40 because that diameter is 180. Okay. Yeah, that's all that was. 
Arc SR. Again, circle's 360. I've got in the arc, this will be the same as that. And I know the other angle's in there, so I just got to deal with them. So I'm going to take away 120. I'm going to take away 80. I'm going to take away 60. So 120 and 80 is 200, 260. So I've got 360. I'm going to take away 260. So that makes that 100 degrees. Stepping through things, that's all it is. Knowing that the angle and the arc, the central angle and the arc are the same thing.